Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the New England Damned Chowder from the Necronom Nom 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 cookbook. The ingredients that we're going to need today are two stalks of celery that I've diced, one small diced onion, four potatoes that I've cubed up, and I did them in fairly small cubes. The book didn't specify whether to leave the skins on or not, so I opted to leave the skin on just one potato, and the rest of them I peeled. You will need five strips of a thick cut, center cut bacon, and I've gone ahead and di cooked them and crumbled them, and I've reserved the drippings that we're going to saute our vegetables in. You're going to need two small cloves of garlic, four teaspoons of chicken bouillon, I have a half of a teaspoon of white pepper, and a half of a teaspoon of thyme. You'll also need one bunch of green onions for the garnish. I've got one 8 ounce bottle of clam juice, one cup of water, we're going to need two and a half cups of heavy cream, we're also going to need two 51 ounce cans of chopped clams. And if like me you can't find that size in your local store, it equals 16 of the 6.5 ounce cans. With about two extra ounces of clams, but really this is a clam chowder. I'm not going to complain if I have a few extra clams in it. And I think that is all our ingredients. So the next thing we need to do is move over to the stove and we're going to go ahead and start getting our vegetables sauteed. Alright guys, so now all we need to do is drop our vegetables into our bacon drippings. And we're going to let these saute for about 5 minutes until they just start to soften up. While I'm doing this, I would like to remind you guys of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that Jacob Adath and I have going on on our channels. If you would like to be a part of it, it's really easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video. And once you've done that, post it to your channel. And then let either JPEG or I know in the comment section of our latest cooking videos. Or if you're a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know over there as well. If you do make the video, just remember to mention the Gamers and Geeks playlist somewhere in your video. As well as leave a link down in the description to it. And that's just so we can continue to support all the fine people that have already contributed to the list. Alright guys, so now all I'm going to do is let this go for about 5 minutes. And then I will bring you back and we will continue with the rest of our ingredients. Alright guys, so I still have about a minute left. And these are starting to get tender. But I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic in now and allow this to continue to saute for another minute or so. Alright guys, so I've let this saute for about another two minutes since I added the garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add in my pepper and my thyme, as well as my chicken bouillon. Go ahead and stir that around. I'm going to add in my water. my potatoes and last I'm going to add in my clam juice oh, there we go and now all we need to do is bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer, cover it, and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes or until my potatoes are tender. So I will see you guys when that happens. Our potatoes have been simmering for about 20 minutes and they are now fork tender. So all I'm going to do is add in one and a half cups of the heavy cream that I went ahead and put the flour in and I beat it until it was as smooth as I could get it. So let me go ahead and add this in, and this is going to help 
thicken up our broth. All right, guys, so we're just going to stir this in. I'm going to turn my heat back up and bring this to a boil until it starts to thicken. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's already starting to thicken up, but I'm going to continue to stir and cook this for about a minute or two once it comes to a full boil just to help us cook a little bit of that raw flour taste out. All right, our chowder has been simmering here for about a minute and a half now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn down my heat and I'm going to stir in the last cup of heavy cream as well as all of my clams. Now all we have to do is stir these in and allow the clams to heat up and once it's done that we have one more step and that will be to add our bacon and then we can serve it. Alright guys this is nice and warm. I'm going to go ahead and stir in my bacon. I did take a few of them out just for a garnish on top. But this is all that's left. We're just going to stir these in. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. And I'm going to get us a bowl all nice and served up. And we're going to give it a taste and see what we think about it. Alright guys, our clam chowder is all plated up. And I've simply garnished it with a few oyster crackers, a little bit of the reserved bacon, and our green onions. So let's get in here and give it a taste. Now I will say this has got to be one of the thickest chowders I have ever had. It smells amazing, and I honestly can't wait to get in here and give it a try. Oh wow, guys. I gotta go in for another bite. This is amazing. This has got to be the best clam chowder I have ever had. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of it, but wow, this is so good. And I will certainly be making this one again. Well, I have to have one more bite, guys. This is out of this world. Holy heck. <laughs> I highly recommend you guys try this one out. Wow. I really can't say enough good things about it. And I will say that is one thing about the Necronom Nom 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 cookbook. Every recipe that I have made in it so far has been outstanding. And there's nothing I would change to this. You know, at first I thought maybe the clams were just going to be way too much because that was a lot of clams to put in it. But it's perfect. The time is perfect. You get just a very subtle hint from it. It's not overwhelming. The white pepper gives that nice peppery bite that I like in a uh, chowder. And then the saltiness from the chicken bouillon and the natural saltiness of the clams. I didn't add any extra salt to this. But yeah, this is an absolutely fabulous recipe. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for me for today. Um, remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist. I will leave a link down in the description to it. If you want to see more of the Necronom Nom 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 cookbook recipes, I will leave a link to, in the description to the ones that I've already done. And I will be doing more from this book in the future. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.